The basic AOE theory revolves around a specific video made by somebody who received keywords from someone who was implied to have known, or most likely was Isayama, the creator of Attack on Titan. This video was a music video called the Katsuki no Requiem, or ANR for short. Katsuki no Requiem in English means Requiem at Dawn. Requiem is a term similar to morning, so in a more literal way, Requiem at Dawn means morning at dawn. The Katsuki no Requiem is made by a group called Linked Horizon. This released in 2018, before the rumbling started in the manga. This music video was actually related to Attack on Titan, but what's actually happening here is encoded, by turning certain characters' appearances into something symbolic. However, this was a weak strategy, because with enough educated guesses, people managed to figure out who these characters were. With that, the entire plot of this music video was understandable. This music video takes place before episode 1 of Attack on Titan. The music video begins with the feathery egg, symbolizes Kid Aaron, having a dream. He's sitting next to the tree on this hill we see him nap at in episode 1. The dream ends. In the next dream, Kid Aaron sees something new. He sees an adult holding flowers at a grave. Kid Aaron is quite confused, but dismisses it because it's just a dream. In the next dream, Kid Aaron sees this man kneeling at the grave, with the flowers on the ground next to him. In the next dream, this man is walking up the hill to the grave, and breaks down, crying when he reaches it. Kid Aaron is on the other side of the grave, so he doesn't see this. In the next dream, this man is crying at the grave, and this time Kid Aaron sees him crying. His tear falls onto Kid Aaron and turns this petal blue, symbolizing an implanted memory. Just like chapter 131, where Armin had an implanted memory of his talk with Aaron. You can see that this man has a shadow during the music video, but Kid Aaron doesn't. This symbolizes how Kid Aaron is viewing this remotely, just like in paths. This man is also unaware that Kid Aaron is watching him. In the next dream, Kid Aaron follows this man back home. You can see how Kid Aaron isn't sure if he should, but decides to anyway. The man reaches his home. This symbolizes the man's home, which is implied to be outside of the walls. Guards block the entrance. This man identifies himself, and to Kid Aaron's surprise, it's himself from the future. This man is future Aaron, after the rumbling. It's implied people moved out of paradise after the rumbling, which has been hinted at before. Aaron reunites with his family he built after completing the rumbling. In the next dream, Kid Aaron finds Aaron alone in his room. Aaron is overcome by grief again. Kid Aaron touches Aaron's shoulder, and he receives a memory. This is an example of paths, when Aaron touched a mirror and he received her memories. Kid Aaron realizes what Aaron did, and how he killed people. Aaron is confused by what that feeling was, because he was unaware Kid Aaron was there. Kid Aaron looks at his own hand and shudders, knowing what truly happened. In the next dream, Kid Aaron is walking through a wasteland alone that's being caused by the rumbling. Butterflies fly past him, symbolizing the lives being destroyed by the rumbling. You can see the thousands of butterflies in the background clearly indicate the rumbling. Specific butterflies try to stop the damage from spreading, but in the end they perish. These specific butterflies represent the Alliance. Aaron had the choice to trust in his friends or himself, and instead of trusting his friends like he did in the manga, here he trusted himself. This led to the Alliance dying. Keep in mind how it's raining here while this happens. Kid Aaron is upset by this. By trying to remove this blue colored feather, Kid Aaron tries to forget everything. Now, it's a vision of the future. Future Aaron is now old, with some daisies present, and white puddles flying by. We get another time skip, and all the daisies are everywhere. It's a field of white flowers, with white puddles flying by. Kid Aaron sees that this new world has become advanced, and gives up on his self-hatred. Kid Aaron wakes up from his dream for the final time.